Rangers are one of the most iconic clubs in Scottish football, alongside rival Celtic, who they've played a total of 442 times and winning 169 of them. Rangers currently see themselves sitting third in the Scottish League table, and the last time they won the league was back in the 2020-21 season. We've been appointed the new Rangers boss as we look to try and get some more trophies at this club, but there will be a twist to this rebuild. Rangers have been moved to the Premier League, and there's always been questions of where Rangers would finish in the Premier League. And our goal in this Rangers rebuild is to win every top division trophy available this includes the carabao cup fa cup community shield and the premier league but let's kick off this rangers premier league rebuild and see if they can compete in the best league in the world for this rangers rebuild guys we're going to go for the counter attack tactical preset and we're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 formation having a look through the squad guys there's a few players that might interest us throughout this rebuild raskin in central midfield really catches my eye 23 years of age 75 overall looks really really good another one is Connor baron another central midfielder i've used him quite a bit in fc 25 and he does turn out to be a really good player. While still having the likes of Tavernier and Jack Butland, we've still got a bit of experience in the side. But looking at the team here, I feel like we need to make some improvements in the transfer window. As you can see, guys, we only have £9 million to spend, so we might have to look at selling some players in order to raise some more funds. We have decided to sell a couple of players in the first season. Alex Lowry has gone to Bristol City for £1.5 and Yilmaz has gone to Burnley for £9 million. So now we have a total of £31 million to spend in the first season. Milan van Erik is our first signing in this Rangers rebuild. The new right back comes in for £8.2 million. We have ourselves a new centre back, guys. Marmol has joined us at centre back. I've been trying to improve the defence as much as I can in this window. He has come in from Las Palmas, guys, for £5 million. Plus, James Tavernier has gone the other way to Las Palmas. I've already replaced Tavernier, and when I bidded for Marmol, Las Palmas asked for Tavernier in return. And I thought, you know what, he's not going to start for us anymore. So I went in there and I decided to send him the other way. And as you can see, guys, Marmol and Van Ebbick have come straight into the starting 11. We still have about £17 million left in the budget, so I might go out and get one more player. Ahmad Diallo is our latest and last signing of the Season 1 transfer window with Rangers. He will be coming in from Manchester United for around £14 million. And as you can see, guys, Ahmad goes straight into the starting 11 in the right midfield position. So this is what your team is going to be looking like for Season 1. So we're going to see if this team can stay in the Premier League and to try and compete to get into the top half of the table as well. I think this is a solid starting position for us right now some key players in here quite a few younger players as well so we're going to go into season one and see if this rangers team can compete in the premier league life in the premier league for rangers has started really really bad as we finished 16th in the league and only finishing four points above the relegation zone i was really not expecting that i thought we had a decent enough team to try and push for a mid-table finish but there's definitely improvements for us to make next season brentford leicester and forest all got relegated to the championship this season chelsea arsenal man city and liverpool are your top four with liverpool winning the league by one point. FA Cup third round, we beat Coventry away from home 3 1. We then beat Leighton Orion 2 0 to reach the fifth round. We then just about beat Championship side Luton 3 2. And unfortunately, Newcastle knocked us out 3 2 to get into the semi finals. And Man City ended up winning the FA Cup, beating Arsenal 4 1. Carabao Cup time now, and we beat Barrow 2 1. And then we beat Brighton 2 1 in the third round to then lose 4 2 to Norwich in the fourth round. Arsenal did end up beating Newcastle 1 0 to lift the Carabao Cup this season. Considering our 16th place finish and just about surviving in the Premier League, Danilo actually had some great stats for the season, scoring 28 goals all season and 24 in the Premier League. Raskin getting 7 goals and 6 assists this season. He was one player that I did mention at the start of the rebuild to watch out for. Ahmed the new signing, unfortunately only getting 4 goals this season. He'll hopefully look to improve next season. And looking through the stats, there's not really many players that have done much this season. And with such a poor league finish, I'm not really surprised. So we go into season 2 looking to try and improve a lot of areas in the team. Danilo obviously getting a lot of goals in the league but the players around him just not doing enough. I might have to look at adding a couple more defenders into the squad. We may have to look at a new goalkeeper as well, but that will all come in season two as we look to try and improve this squad. Like I said, guys, I wanted to improve the defense this season. I've gone out and got ourselves a new goalkeeper. Louise Jr. has come in to replace Jack Butland in goal as I feel like Butland is not very good at the moment and he's not going to improve because he is now like 32 years old. I've made the last signing of season two, guys, as we have brought in our new left winger as Van Bommel has joined from AZ Alcatraz for nine million pounds guys he will be playing in left midfield for us the youngster only 19 is going to be our new left winger this will be the team for season two guys as Luis jr has come in in goal he replaces jack butland and van bommel out on the left hand side as well i just need to finish his development plan to put him to a left midfielder and then he is good to go hoping for a massive improvement from last season guys as we had a really really poor finish in the premier league but i think with a couple of improvements that we have made we will surely be able to try and climb up the league table wow in 
only our second season guys Rangers have managed to hit the top four of the Premier League we finished in fourth place just shy of Man City and Chelsea who finished second and third and we see ourselves get Champions League football for season three I'm absolutely buzzing with that Rangers in the top four of the Premier League we started our FA Cup campaign winning 3-2 against Leighton Orient in round three we then beat Watford 4-2 away from home and then Tottenham did beat us 4-3 on penalties after a one-all draw in round five they actually ended up winning the whole tournament beating Fulham 2-1 and we didn't even get past the second round in the Carabao Cup guys as Coventry beat us 6-5 on penalties Danilo once again being our top goal scorer getting 27 goals in the Premier League he's been a really good asset for us so far in this Rangers rebuild there wasn't too many other players that had a lot of goals this season Ahmad getting nine Haji with eight and then loads of other players just getting goals here and there overall what a great season that is for Rangers only the second season we finished fourth it's a massive improvement from season one and we can really kick on now to go into season three and hopefully we can start trying to challenge in the cup competitions that we do need to win in order to finish this rebuild Vanderberg is our new centre-back signing in season three guys as proper as retiring at the end of the season I've gone out and got ourselves a new centre-back to replace him Vanderberg joins from Brentford for 29.5 million pounds we've gone out and got ourselves a new central attacking midfielder guys as I felt like we needed to improve this position great bit of recruitment as Kangin Lee has joined from PSG for 51 million pounds he will be our new starting at number 10 in behind Danilo we have picked ourselves up a new left back as Anthony Robinson has joined for 23 million pounds he will be slotting in straight away at left back the new signing comes in from Napoli this will be the team that we go for in season three I've added Anthony Robinson at left back Van der Berg at center back and Kangin Lee as well in central attacking midfield he becomes one of the better players in the side still waiting for Van Bommel's development plan to finish and then he will be converted to a left midfield finishing the top four last season looking to do the same thing once again this season we're now in the Champions League and I want to try and compete in one of the cup competitions and I really do think these new signs are going to help us do that we're at the end of season three and as you can see Rangers have dropped down to the sixth place in the Premier League it was pretty close between us and Man City for fifth and Aston Villa Arsenal Chelsea ran away with the top four as Liverpool won the league bit of a disappointing season compared to last year as we see ourselves fall out of the Champions League places we absolutely smashed Plymouth 5-0 in the third round of the FA Cup then beat Millwall 2-0 away from home and then unfortunately guys we got beat by Wolves 1-0 in the fifth round they actually ended up winning the whole competition 2-1 against Man City we started our Carabao Cup run beating Colchester 4-0 and then Ipswich did beat us 3-2 on penalties after a 2-2 draw in the fourth round Arsenal did end up beating Liverpool 3-2 to lift the Carabao Cup this season Danilo was once again our top goal scorer 29 goals this season 23 of them coming in the Premier League he's now up to an 82 overall Kangin Lee wow what a player 22 goals and 10 assists in his first season with us at the Rangers he's already up to an 86 overall Ahmed starting to get some more goals and assists throughout this season nice to see Van Bommel getting more game time as he's got seven goals this season Raskin another player I'm really happy with six goals and 11 assists from central midfield overall there were some really good performances throughout the season but we need to add a few more players I think to improve this squad as we want to try and get ourselves back into the top four and we still have all the remaining trophies to try and win and we haven't won any yet we start season four guys with signing ourselves a new central midfielder an area which I did think we need to upgrade on Matt O'Reilly has joined from Brighton for 58 million pounds he'll be going straight into the left central midfield role and he is an absolutely incredible signing for us at Rangers and O'Reilly does come into the team as you can see into the left central midfield role alongside Raskin the team is really starting to come together guys as the ratings are slowly starting to come up now everyone apart from Van Bommel are now over 80 rated but they've still got a big job to do we need to try and get ourselves some of these trophies that we need to get before the rebuild ends and we also want to try and get ourselves back into the top four a big ask from the squad here and with the addition of O'Reilly I think this team can really challenge to get one of the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup this season a slight improvement from last season as Rangers have gone up one place in the Premier League and we have finished fifth in the table. We just missed out on the top four by goal difference as Aston Villa finished on a better goal difference than us and we just missed out on Champions League football again. Nevertheless, it's an improvement from last season so I cannot complain at all. We started our FA Cup campaign against Chelsea and we won 3-1. We then beat Bristol City 2-0 away from home. We just about got past Preston as we drew 1-1, but we won 4-2 on penalties. 
It was a close game against Man United, but we won 2-1 in the quarterfinals to get to the semis. And then we only won and beat West Ham 3-1 away from home, which does mean we will face Spurs after they beat Swansea 3-1. Oh, what a game that was, and we have done it. We have finally won our first trophy in this Rangers rebuild. We have beaten Tottenham 4-3 to win the FA Cup in Season 4. I could finally sense something was going to happen this season, and it has. Rangers have beaten Spurs in the FA Cup. Now switch over to the Carabao Cup, and we beat Aston Villa 4-1 in our first round, which is the third round. We then beat Crystal Palace 4-2, and we just about beat Liverpool 2-1 in the quarterfinals. And then we beat Chelsea 4-1 on aggregate, which means we will face Newcastle United in the final. And would you look at that, guys? We have done it. We have won the Carabao Cup 3-0 against Newcastle United. That does mean we have checked off the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup already in Season 4. I'm absolutely delighted with that, guys. It means we have ticked off two of the four trophies that we needed to get to complete this rebuild. We are now only chasing the Community Shield and the Premier League title. Finished in the top six of the Europa League league phase this season, which means we go straight into the round of 16. We beat Celta Vigo 3-0 on aggregate to progress into the quarter quarterfinals which we face Royal Antwerp and we won 7-3 on aggregate. What a tie that was. We then smashed Dynamo Kiev 5-2 which means we will face Athletic Bilbao in the final. And we've only gone and done the treble, guys. We've won the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and now the Europa League. Rangers winning 2-0 against Athletic Bilbao, which sees us win three trophies this season. And it also guarantees Champions League football next season as we have won the Europa League. Wow, Danilo with 41 goals this season. He has absolutely crushed it once again for us. He's now up to an 85 overall. Kang Hin Lee, honestly, this has been one of the best signings I've made so far in this rebuild. 36 goals and 11 assists for Kang Hin Lee in central attacking midfield. He's up to an 89 overall. Really good to see Ahmad starting to get a lot of goals. 20 goals this season, 84 overall for him now. Matt O'Reilly, first season with Rangers, 15 goals, 16 assists. He's absolutely bossing it in the midfield. Van Bommel really starting to pick up the goals now. 13 goals and 9 assists for him this season. Wow, what a season that was, guys. We won the Carabao Cup, FA Cup and the Europa League as well. I know we didn't get into the top four, but we missed out just on goal difference. What an amazing season that is for Rangers. So now we have our eyes set on winning our Community Shield and the Premier League title in order to complete this rebuild of Rangers. The transfer window is now closed in season five, guys, and we have made some mega signings in this transfer window. Kalulu was the first player that joined. He joined from Brighton for 46 million pounds. He will be our new right-sided centre-back. Mikhailo Madrid was the next player, 41.5 million pounds from Real Sociedad. He will be starting as our left midfielder. Ivan Illich was the next player from Torino for £49 million. He'll be going in central midfield with Matt O'Reilly. And with those new additions comes the new team. Mudrik in at left mid. Illich in at central midfield and Kalulu in at centre back. Look at the rest of the other team though. Danilo's up to an 85, Kangin Lee's 89, Ahmed 84 and it's really really coming together now guys. After our treble winning season it was only time to improve on this squad and I think we've had some great transfer business in season 5. So we've still got two more trophies that we need to collect in this Premier League rebuild with Rangers. Community Shield which we are in for the first time obviously winning the FA Cup and also the Premier League title. We've had a couple of close chances finishing 4th 5th and 6th. This season we need to really kick on and I really do think this squad is good enough to challenge for the Premier League title. It's another 5th place finish for Rangers unfortunately guys. We're being consistent where we're finishing now. We just didn't have enough to get past Villa once again. It's Aston Villa who are ahead of us in 4th. They finished 1 point ahead of us Chelsea 2. But we're actually quite close to finishing 3rd this season. We have managed to tick off the Community Shield. I know some people might complain that it's not actually a proper trophy but it is one of the top division trophies and we have Managed to smash Man City 4-0. Bearing in mind this was in the preseason, even though Man City did end up winning the league by only losing like two games or something. Nevertheless, that means we now have won the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Europa League and the Community Shield with Rangers. No FA Cup run for us this season as Newcastle beat us 2-1 in the third round. Arsenal did beat Chelsea 5-3 on penalties to win the FA Cup. And it's the same with the Carabao Cup. Derby beat us on penalties 5-4, which means we don't progress out of the first round we entered. Chelsea ended up winning 4-3 on penalties to win the Carabao Cup against Wolves this season. We're into the Champions League now, guys, and we finished 16th in the league phase, which means we only get the playoffs. Oh my god, would you look at that, guys? PSV knocked us out after a 3-3 aggregate draw. They won 5-4 on penalties. 
Dortmund did end up winning the Champions League this season after a 2-1 victory against Barcelona. Once again, Danilo was our top goal scorer. 26 goal contributions for him this season. He is now up to an 87 overall in his prime years. Kang In Lee, 90 overall, 16 goals, 7 assists for him. He is really turning into an absolutely incredible player and I'm really happy we signed him. Diallo, 13 goals, 9 assists. He's consistently being very good now. He's up to an 87 rated, only 26 years of age. He's still got another few years left in him. Matt O'Reilly's up to an 88, 11 goals, 11 assists for him this season. Really, really solid player in that central midfield role. Illich with 10 goals on his debut season for us. Really happy with that return from central midfield. So once again, we finished fifth by literally just a couple of points. So close to getting top four, which means we'll be playing in the Europa League next season. But we did manage to win one more trophy to our collection, which was the Community Shield. And we're only now chasing the Premier League title, guys. But fingers crossed next season in season six, we can try and compete to get into that top four once again and try and win that Premier League title. It's now season six, guys, and I've decided to sign myself a new right back as Trent Alexander-Arnold has joined Rangers for £48 million. He has joined from Liverpool and he'll be our new right back for season six. We've got ourselves a new left-sided centre-back, guys, as I did feel like it was time to improve. And Murillo has joined. He has joined for £46 million, guys. And like I said, he will be our new left-sided centre-back from Getafe for £46 million. We have made a big left-back signing, guys. And it includes a swap deal as well. Ian Matson has joined Rangers. Anthony Robertson has gone to the Serie A plus £30 million. Pounds. I feel like Matson is a big upgrade to Robinson as Robinson is now 32 I believe and I felt like it was a good bit of business. Matson goes one way, Robinson goes the other plus £35 million. Pounds. Matson's only 27 years of age and he's already 86 overall. So then guys this will be your team for season 6. I mean look at some of these players. We've had some big upgrades in the team. Matson, Murillo join us and Trent also joins us at right back. But the defence has had a massive upgrade. I think this team is now good enough to finally be able to compete for that Premier League trophy. The last trophy that we do need to complete this rebuild and some of these players are going to be key to really help us do that. Without further ado guys let's get into season 6 and see if we can finally try and win ourselves a Premier League title. So then guys we have come to the final day of the Premier League season in season 6 and this is going to be the lineup that we are going to be playing with as we look to clinch our Premier League title the only trophy left of this rebuild to complete. It is between us and Chelsea Chelsea, I do believe, and I have not checked. I'm going to be playing the last game of the season, and if we win, I am sure we clinch the Premier League title and then we get the trophy celebration. But this is the team. It looks absolutely incredible. I've really, really enjoyed this Rangers rebuild. It's been one of my favourites for sure. But we have one more job to do. Can we win on the final day of the season to lift the Premier League title? Mudrick now on the ball. Plays a 1 2 with Matson if he can find him again. Mudrick. Wins the ball back. It's Mikhailo Mudrik. Can he get the shot away? Mudrik. He gets the goal. It's 1-0 to Rangers inside the first 10 minutes. Mudrik wins the ball back there, as you can see. He smashes it across the goal, and the keepers dive the wrong way, and he's never going to get on the end of that. Mudrik with the early goal to put Rangers up. 1-0. Here goes Mudrik down the left-hand side. He's got incredible pace here. Defender tries to put a slide tackle, and he misses. Mudrik's going all the way. Can he cross it into the back stick? And header, Diallo unlucky. Rebound, and we can't get on the end of it. Mudrik now, can he slide in? Danilo, it's a great ball in. Danilo, can he get the shot away? Oh, it's a great save by the keeper. Down low, Illich now. Danilo, surely he's onside. It's Danilo, can he get the shot away? It's saved by Vicario. Great ball from Diallo. Kang and Lee to Danilo to finish the game. Oh, what a goal that is. And it's 2-0 to Rangers absolutely unstoppable today just before half time Danilo gets another goal this season a brilliant counter attack Kang and Lee into Danilo and he drills that into the top corner 2-0 now and that should be game over because Wolves have done nothing in this game here comes Cunha now for on goal Kalulu's gonna have to come across he misses the tackle Cunha's still going Matson can't get on the end of it it's oh it's a poor tackle from Matson. it's a penalty to Wolves it's a really late tackle and Matson's been shown a yellow card. The Rangers left back. Thought he got on the end of it, but he hasn't. He's completely missed the ball. And it will be a penalty to Wolves. Cunha steps up. And it's saved. What a save by Junior. It's a brilliant, brilliant hand into the top corner. 
Kang and Lee now. Can he find Danilo? Oh, it's a cracking ball. Danilo to make it free. Oh, it's a lovely goal. Danilo with the finish. It's his second. It's Rangers day as we see ourselves go 3-0 up. Kang and Lee with another beautiful assist through to Danilo who smashes it. Cross goal once again. He gets his second. Rangers third and that surely is now game over. Ahmad now running down the line. Can he cut inside? Ahmad, lovely turn, shoots. Saved by Vicario once again. Matson finds Mudrick now. Oh, it's a lovely play from Mudrick. Great dribbling. Can he cross it in? Into the back stick. Headed straight to Vicario from Kang and Lee. Mudrick now going to whip this one in from the right-hand side. It's a great ball in. Amarillo gets the fourth goal of the game. And that is game set and match for Rangers. Mudrick with a... Beautiful cross. Morello a bullet header. No one really challenging him there. And it's now 4-0 to Rangers. All played in. Wolves, do they have a chance to score? He's going to go all the way here, surely. Oh, it's a great tackle from O'Reilly. Lee now on the ball. Plays it into Illich. He plays it to Trent. Trent on the charge. Can he find someone in the box? Oh, it's a great bit of play. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful counter-attack. All the way from the corner. And Rangers make it 5-0. Kang in Lee with the goal. That is an exceptional goal. Everyone nearly touching the ball there. Trent's ball to Danilo and his flick on to Lee to smash it in to make it 5-0. And that is game over. Quite literally game over, boys. Because Rangers have dominated Wolves 5-0 and are going to be your Premier League champions. Rangers have done it. They have won the Premier League trophy. People have always questioned, can Rangers do it in the Premier League? And they sure have in this rebuild. We've added the Premier League trophy to our collection. What a way to do it, beating Wolves 5-0. The final trophy we were waiting on in this rebuild, the Premier League. And Rangers will be your Premier League champions in Season 6. O'Reilly, the captain, he will be the one to lift the Premier League trophy for Rangers. An absolutely incredible season. We've won at the Premier League. We've finally ticked it off over a great win against Wolves. 5-0, we absolutely dominated them. So we are at the end of season six, guys. And Rangers actually went invincible in the Premier League. We won 31 games, seven draws, zero losses, 100 points. We absolutely dominated the Premier League this season. We just finished off a 5-0 thrashing of Wolves to lift the Premier League. The first time in this rebuild. And it's absolutely incredible. What a way to finish off with a invincible run in season six. Unfortunately, no FA Cup run again. Northampton beat us 2-1 in the third round. Leeds United did win 4-2 against West Ham to win the FA Cup. And we didn't have a Carabao Cup run as well because Man City beat us 2-1. And West Ham ended up winning the Carabao Cup after beating Brighton 2-1. We dominated the Europa League phase as we finished first in the league phase. No losses there. Into the round of 16, we beat Southampton 4-2. And unfortunately, guys, Fenerbahce beat us 5-4 in aggregate to knock us out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Roma ended up winning the Europa League 7-6 on penalties after a 3-3 draw. Kang In Lee was our top goal scorer for the season. 42 goals and 14 assists for him. What an absolutely incredible player he turned out to be. Danilo, age 31 now. He's been here from season 1. 30 goals, 7 assists. What a player he was for us throughout the whole rebuild. Illic getting 12 goals, 5 assists for him. Really nice season for him. Diallo getting 9 goals, 12 assists as well. Captain O'Reilly, 5 goals, 14 assists, 90 overall. What a player he's turned out to be. Overall, looking at some of these players, we had some really, really good ones. Lee, O'Reilly, Ahmad, Danilo, Trent, Kalulu, Junior, the keeper who's been here since season two. Really, really big names. And we did end up winning the Community Shield, the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, won Europa League, and also to finish off in season six, the Premier League trophy. Five trophies in six seasons. What an incredible return that is. And I'm happy with that Rangers have been able to do it in the Premier League. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment any teams you want me to rebuild, and subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate the support as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.